Sorry for that terrible introduction for this video. I wanted to try out some new editing skills. With that, welcome back to another video, hopefully the first of many. Last plugin showcase, I asked if you want me to create a series that will explain how to create a server from top to bottom. Everything you need to know. And honestly, I'll be learning with you. Basically to start off, I had to fight Adam to allow me to even buy some servers at Revive Node. That's a great place to start off. Like I said, I'm gonna explain everything that needs to be said and when starting your own server. But before I do continue, I gotta say, these type of videos wouldn't be possible without our sponsor, Sungata. Sungata is the one-stop shop designed to make finding the perfect plugin for your Minecraft server super easy with full user and developer feedback and constantly improving the platform. Sungata supports fair and just business practice with tons of high quality plugins to improve your server from free to premium with only the cleanest and most modern design. Check out Sungata's marketplace in the description down below. All right, so let's start. I got my servers at Revive Node. That way, if you want to follow, go for it. I'm not telling you have to. There are a few things you need to know though when looking for a server. Specs, MySQL, file access, and price. With that, luckily Revive Node had them all. I'm planning to do a bungee with known mini games and some new ideas I haven't seen yet. And to create a bungee, I need at least two to three servers and that's exactly what I have. I'm basically gonna inform you on what you need to know and all the basics. Specs. How good are the servers and how well it can handle? MySQL, that is super important because a lot of plugins use it. And if you want to keep access from Bungie networks and connecting one plugin to another, that's how you go. File access, make sure you have 100% access to all the files. Don't let them limit you in any way whatsoever. Price, make sure you're not overspending. I don't want you guys to be hassled around and be spending up to 50 bucks on 10 gigs. That is outrageous. And I know there are a lot of hosts that do that. It is stupid. So let's start with the top five things you need to know. One, you don't need a huge amount of RAM to start. If a host tells you you need eight or 16 gigs to even start off, that's a lie. Remember, for the first one to three months, you're gonna be under development. Under development, meaning you won't have a huge amount of players on the server at once, and you don't need a lot of RAM. Two to four gigs is plenty to start under development. You can upgrade after. Number two, you will have to spend. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying grab your mom's credit card and go ham. I'm saying, Spending like 20 on a new logo is worth it and if you really want to start off and stand out and make it really feel like a premium server. Remember, Hypixel didn't start off by being cheap and they spend non-stop money on developers and builders. Just don't overspend and give yourself a monthly limit in how much you can spend. Number three, free plugins are perfectly fine. My last statement was you need to spend but there are a ton of free plugins out there that are worth it, and I use it myself. You should invest in them and ask the developer if, if you can have permission to change certain code, of course not giving it to anybody else and only for your server, but if not, you can always just go ahead and try to edit as much as you can from either the config and your message.yml to give it a unique feeling. Here's something else you probably didn't know, Hypixel actually used a free anti-cheat that was modified. Basically, Watchdog was no cheat plus. I'm actually surprised about that as well. Number four. Take your time. Don't rush into things. I have made plenty of mistakes nonstop over and over again by rushing in. Test things out, get a beta team, and see how everything goes. It's worth it and will prevent you from having to stop the server halfway through its opening. Number five, of course, be creative. I'm not talking about the game mode creative. I'm talking about don't copy a server, do your own twist. Adding a little something into a game mode can really make it stand out and take your time on your builds and ideas. At the end of it, it will be worth it. Here's some last final things I want you to know. Don't go around and stop other people from being creative themselves. If they start a Skyward server, let them. I have had many people come and tell me I can't because Hypixel did it. And whoever says that is terribly wrong. Hypixel did not create anything that's new. They only perfected it. For example, Hypixel did not create Skywars, Bed Wars, The Bridge, The Pit, and these are very popular game modes, not even Murder Mystery. Skywars did not start it off. There were plenty of smaller servers that had Skywars way before Hypixel was a thing. Bed Wars is just a modified version of Egg Wars, but with beds, and there were plenty of other servers that had it before them. 
The Pit is basically just kid PvP, and Murder Mystery I played a ton of servers before Hypixel even had it. So if you're a huge Hypixel fan, great, so am I. But you don't need to suck up to them, and you don't need to stop others from and trying it out. I know no one would like it if somebody went and tried to crush your dreams and what they've been working on for a long time just because some other big network did it. So with that, I don't normally do this, but I want you to go in a comment section and put out what are your plans for your server. Or if you're already creating one, what is it? I would love to hear about it and I'll respond to it as much as I can to each one of them. Here are some things that I actually would like to see. What type of server are you creating? What's the version? And what's your twist on it? For me, it was tough, but I have a few things. I'm going to create a mini game server with different type of game modes such as Skywars, Bed Wars, Skyblock, and two secret game modes that you will only be informed later into the series. And for the twist, well, you're just going to have to continue watching the series so you can try to add your own twist as well. I plan to do everything on 1.12. Now I know people are going to be mad at me because of PvP, but trust me, I'm still going to keep 1.8 support and 1.8 PvP completely fine. And that's everything for this video. For the next one, I plan on starting at the Hub and Bungie. So if you're interested in any of this, go ahead and join my Discord. We'll talk about it there. I'm always online. So other than that, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, make sure to check out more. And I'm Diamond, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.